What's up, y'all? It's Slime Green Beats in the building, and these are need to know hotkeys in FL Studio 20. So I'm just gonna cover really important hotkeys in FL Studio. Um, there's over 250 of them, so I'm not gonna include all of them in this video. These are just like really common, really useful ones that I use that I just want to share with you guys. So, um, and I suggest like when you're going through this, maybe just write them down and put them on a note card, just like I have here. So, you know, this is just so I can remember to mention them in the video, but, you know, this is also useful if you just want to implement this into your game and you forget exactly which hotkey. So, we're going to start off with Control D. Actually, just Control. We're going to start off with Control. Control, if you hold down Control, it just highlights everything. So, it does the same function as this. So, don't ever, you never need to click this. Just hit Control. Control. All right. Control D, D selects. That's super useful. I might, I might say that a lot in this video, but Control D. It's like legendary. Um, I call this one the tight adjustment. When you hold, when you have a note note selected, you hold Alt, the tight adjustment. So instead of snapping to the grid, if you weren't holding down Alt, and I'm gonna show my hands as well now. Instead of snapping on the grid, you just hold Alt. K, 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 K. Uh, I call this one the soul taker. Highlight, hold Shift. It's gonna take the notes this one I like a lot um, it's, it's really useful for like moving notes and, and patterns um, I can't I can't stress that enough this this one the only way like I move patterns is I do that I use that or the control B so you to use control B highlight the area you want to mirror it to then control B <clears throat> it's gonna mirror over there all right all right all right that's really useful for patterns as well so if you don't have to highlight, you can just highlight the pattern. B, B, dope. Okay. Um, highlight, shift up. So this moves the notes up or whatever you have highlighted up a note. And then you, if you hit control, it goes up an octave. Up and down an octave. Up, down, okay. Got it, got it. Um, let me go ahead and play this too. Um, all right, Alt S is the strumizer. So highlight the, the chords. This is for chords. Alt S strums the chords, kind of like you hear with a guitar. Like uh, strums the chords. Okay, okay. And then Alt R is the randomizer. This is more practical for more practical for like single notes and hi-hats alt r randomizer randomizes the key ones it does the release uh the pitch too but I, I mainly focus on the um panning and the velocity so there's another way to like humanize your notes all right so now we're gonna get more into more advanced stuff this is the articulator one of my favorite sounding functions Highlight, Alt, L, the Articulator. Um, varies the ending. So it gives you more humanized sounding ending. Very cool, very cool. Um, control R, this is really useful if you're it, when you're exporting. So Control R automatically exports the wave automatically exports to the wave file so the other way to do that would be file export wave so time is money with that one uh, again very useful if you're if you're exporting so that's that's a good one to that's easy to implement um, control shift M speaking of exporting this is how you export a MIDI a MIDI pattern so control shift M M for MIDI so you export MIDI's okay very very cool very 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 cool um, new pattern F4. Cool. That's the same thing as doing this. Lovely. F4. Um, okay, okay, okay. We all know about Control C, Control V. Not sure why I wrote that down, but if you don't know, you just highlight. This is a function that's in like everything. Control C, Control V. I never use this. So try to get that out of your game, actually. Just don't ever use that. Um, so I got two more that I'm going to go over. This one's for the mixer channel. It's the one hotkey I have for the mixer channel, which is Alt S. Solo the mixer track. These are sidechain. That's all three of them. 
all three of them solo. That's how you solo in the mixer track. Very useful. Very useful. Um, and the last one, guys, is Alt U, which is the note chop. So let's go to back to these notes. So I can show you. Alt U. Um, highlight. Alt U. This is more practical for hi hats and uh, snares occasionally. Uh, but yep, yeah, that's that's the note chopper. Uh, if you guys have any other useful hotkeys, again, include them in the comment section, please. I'm a I'm a connoisseur of them myself, so uh, you know. And again, guys, just try to implement these. And it's gonna save you a lot of time. So this is this is kind of like an underrated part of of beat making, which is the workflow. You know, again, time is money. So uh, go ahead and try to try to do the best you can with this stuff, guys. Uh, this is Sly Green Beast, man. If you guys have any more video suggestions, go ahead and leave in the comment section. Peace out.